Excommunication time. Not a bad idea. France still has no legal heir. We still have succession war between Navarre and Austria. Who can be excommunicated? Not one person. Not a single country can be excommunicated. The Pope is too friendly with all the people. There goes my explorer. They just... Nice. 17 papal influence to convert that province. My gosh. it's quite a bit. Keep on bumping mercantilism here and there. So we're integrating our subject. We are colonizing... Exporting people quite quickly. We've got... Montevideo. Montevideo is uh, growing at 125 per year with 18% settler chance still. We are still losing innovativeness. Not that we really have any yet because we were so far behind in the beginning of the game. We also have this institution penalty. So can we get an alliance with someone who's embraced it? So Milan is currently not sharing with anybody else. If we can get an alliance with Milan and we have more than 10% gross income available... He should offer us knowledge sharing. So long as he's not already offering it to somebody else. We've got 38 months of war exhaustion to bleed off. With the level 1 inflation reduction guy, let's go with the level 1 diplo rep guy. We have higher price guys that are half price available, but I'd like to make sure our income is nice and high. And we're going to try to persuade Mr. Milan here to offer us knowledge sharing. Also, a little bit of positive income for a while would be nice, just to... Okay, you are currently not doing knowledge sharing. I have positive income. Offer me knowledge. He should be willing to offer this to us. We're within coring range. I'm not really sure why he isn't. I thought at one point I understood how to make that thing, like, work on command, but... Now I'm not so sure. God damn it, are you serious? <laughs> so they distract, like... Two thirds of my army, and then they come back right as I'm dealing with this shit. It's stupid. Bastards. <laughs> yeah, that fort will take care of that province. Let's send this army over this way to take care of these rebels. We're missing out on innovativeness, but we don't really have any innovativeness to protect. So we could just wait for institution. See Valencia to Navarra. We can take his capital. Well, we're never going to be able to integrate Aragon at this rate. I mean, his opinion is at already negative 166 from Tuka province. <laughs> um, I think we'll just have to... Say the situation works for us. I don't want to get rid of the claim. Portugal gone can give us some sailors. Why not just take it and wait out the malice? Because we're already at the point where we can we could theoretically take it. Like, we could already do the, um, integration if, if he were just loyal. If, if we could just get his opinion to 190. So, I can still do gift. I have at my disposal 65 opinion. I can do great power influence, 25 from send gift, 15 from giving him war subsidies over time. That's 65. 65 plus 58 is not enough. That only puts us at 123. We can get another... 
6 if we top off the improved relations, putting us at 129. And then that's it, really. I can't get anything else. We're really restricted. We can't do royal marriages with them because they are that you'd be marrying yourself. It's really annoying to try to get these guys to 190. Let's keep on doing more of the goods produced bumps. So this is what I like to look at, right? Like 1.1 ducats becomes 1.5. 300 divided by 0.39. It's going to take 64 years to pay for itself just directly based on that, but the goods produced also increases the uh, the local trade value. It's it's one of the best clicks you could possibly do. Especially if you keep on stacking in the extra production efficiency from this one. Because the production efficiency stacks with the goods produced. It's just it's just good stuff. Good riddance. You're going to have to conquer more people to expel. Well, we're going to be kind of pressed, I think. I, I think you're right, for time. We no longer have a truce uh, with Ken Pesh. He's allied to some little guy called Chorty. I don't have a, a large army here, but we do have quite a few infantry just hanging out. And I've got transports that are in the count of 13, so let's send, like, 13 more of these guys over to here. I think it's funny how we still just have the Big Bertha. That's it. That's the only cannon I have. Just one. Big Bertha. The value cannon. Remember, remember to not yoink Castile's provinces so you can start integrating ASAP. Yeah, there is still time with Castile. Like, we got the Union in time. We can integrate him in 1584, and then we gotta take the time to integrate him, but we have 26 years after that. We'll probably have to go influence ideas next just to get the extra... The extra opinion. Or, like, the extra diplomatic reputation, integration speed, diplomatic integration costs, etc. I'm getting really annoyed with Milan for not, like, offering me the things. I'm just gonna break the damn alliance. Screw you. It might be that you have to have, like, 100 opinion as well. I don't know. I'm not really sure what the restriction is. He did- he did get an heir, unfortunately. Kind of annoyed that the British are conquering all this stuff. If we go to war with the British, we could steal this and create our own colonial nation in the west- in the Caribbean. There's enough provinces here to steal directly. Can't excommunicate anyone. We can call for a crusade against anyone we want. Let's do, um... I think we do Morocco. Oh man, it's a mothballed fort. Um, let's check to see what kind of CBs we have against England. We have colonialism takes St. Thomas. So we do have colonialism, but colonialism's not gonna help us out with a lot of this stuff, but we can then use seed colonial region. I think we probably want to do this. We have favors with France, 34 in fact. We should probably seed this whole region and uh, create our own colonial nation here. The Castile already colonized Bermuda. Man, they are colonizing crazy.
Why is the, uh, the, uh, the flavor text for global settler increase plus, like, crazy amounts, they are fools? It's great! It's a great event, and it's like, oh, they're fools. No, they're not. The clergy are a bit too influential now. 107.9. Disaster says... December 63. So that's a real disaster. Damn. Damn. Well, we could try revoking their coastline. That's perfect. Maybe there's someone else we could ask for printing press from. Now Provence has it, Siena has it. Hope has it. Okay, another colony is complete. Uh, Portugal is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight provinces. Nine and ten. So we're, we're at ten now. Man, Castile! Castile, settle the frick down, man. He's got three there. He's got multiple over here. Like... He's just all over the place. Oh, that's actually New Castile is colonizing. Look at him go. Where shall we colonize next? Ex-Portugal is no longer colonizing again. I'm gonna try subsidizing him, like, a lot. Like, like, a lot, and see if we can get him to do two colonies at once. And so we know he has two colonists. I just, I don't know what it takes to convince him to do it. it used to be real simple, they would only ever have one colonist, because they just have expansion ideas. And you just send them, like, two ducats, and then they'd, they'd, they'd start colonizing. Now, that works for the first colony, but... Time for Parliament! Love it. Um, let's get one last Improve Relations Over Time guy. Let's go ahead and... Uh, let's stick with the Diplomatic Reputation guy, though. Actually, no. I think I want to take the higher level guy, because I want to... I don't care about the integration of Naples so much as I care about the integration of Aragon, and that requires better relations over time. So we'll do that. Then we'll take the Parliament. There wasn't a special other thing because we're Catholic, is there? Or Iberian. States General. General Estates and States General. <laughs> kind of funny. Aristocratic Court. Royal Decree. No, Parliamentarism is the best, definitely. So... Parliament, start debate. Colonist and global settler increase? Yes, please, I think so. Kill the Commandant, sure. All right, I don't know where to colonize next. Um, I sent a bunch of money to ex-Portugal. He did start colonizing twice, so that's exactly what I wanted. Let's just cancel the subsidies now then. I don't know exactly how much you need to send him to convince him to do that, but I'm glad he's doing it. We could just keep colonizing over here. We definitely want to expel natives, but we also kind of want to do more, more of this whole thing. Like Guinea is a good state. Lots of, lots of uh, natives for increased local goods produced. Um, and we have bonuses to native assimilation, 75%, so... And then we'll go back to colonizing somewhere else. What native policy are we using? We're using um, the middle one now, native trading, because the policy that we got from expansion and exploration gives minus 50% native uprising chance. So we're able to run the middle option and still have 0% chance for native uprising. Hey, there's the finisher for quantity. We get land attrition minus 10%, land force limit plus 50%, autonomy change cooldown minus 25%, and trade efficiency plus 10%. Lots of stuff, and we also have policies. For example, land force limit plus 10%, global settlers plus 10, and national manpower modifier plus 10, land leader maneuver plus 1. We'll take the settlers for now. That puts us at 170 global settlers increase at the moment. With four colonies. Growing at 170 per year, yep. 
That's quite fast. So, next tri next idea group, like... Excuse me, influence would be good because we could get the integration of our subject a little bit quicker. Right, with the extra diplomatic reputation, bonus relationship slot. Vassal force limit contribution is super strong, super strong for colonial nations because... For, for nations that colonize, because the... The bonus to force limit that you get from the subjects for your land force limit. Notice how we're getting five land force limit from ex Portugal, five land force limit from Aragon. It's going to keep increasing as we get more full full subjects. Every colonial nation with ten provinces provides you with five base force limit. That does get increased by vassal force limit contribution. So if you want like a stupid high force limit, uh, it's really strong. Trade is also a great option because we went quantity. Trade plus quantity equals goods produced plus 20%, which stacks really, really well in trade company regions. It does not apply to your, your colonial subjects, though, because it's not, you know, your land. Human Humanist? <laughs> Global settlers plus 10. Native assimilation plus 50. That sounds pretty damn strong, gotta admit. We'll see. We'll see when we get to our next idea group. It's gonna be a little while. You guys will probably vote on it. Just lost one of our generals. Uh, right, we're in this war. We're supposed to be piecing people out. Now, this land, I would prefer to go to New, New Castile, I think. Actually, so long as New Castile ends up with 10 provinces, I don't really care if one of them is much bigger than the other. He's got 5 here, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 already, so he's already at 10, so I'll just give this all to my subject. That way my subject, you know, it's actually my land. Technically, now, already. Let's transfer this back to Navarra. Navarra, 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 Navarra. Navarra, 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 Navarra. Good. Full annexation. Sounds great. And that'll all go to our subject instead of to his subject. Even though it was his, his, uh, his claim. Right, Oyo, we can get a claim on. Let's get a claim on, like, Ketu. Let's see if he's willing to accept a threat. He is, great. It's mine now. How about Fulo accept a threat? Not quite. Relative worth. Relative strength of the alliance is only at 49. We can get more. We have plenty of force limit. Man, manpower is just still the thing that we need more of. This is why quantity is not a bad idea. And why I was willing to take it is that when you're doing this colonial empire thing, it's really nice to just be able to threaten war because you have a ton of infantry. <laughs> you get to play the Russian style. Just nothing but infantry. Conquistador just died. And we no longer get free conquistadors, unfortunately. Shall we try for knowledge sharing with somebody else? Why don't we ally the Pope? The Pope loves us. The Pope's not knowledge sharing. The Pope has printing press. Like, come on, dude. Give me give me the damn institution. You know you want to. There it is, see? Alright, so there's gotta be some reason why Milan didn't want to do it. Perhaps because he's the wrong religion or he just didn't like us enough. But like nothing else has changed. It's the same overall coring distance. So I'm gonna assume that it was opinion. Maybe in addition to being allies, they have to have high opinion of you. Let's ask France for manpower. Where did the printing press spawn? Uh, printing press actually spawned in Parma. Which is sort of unusual. France did not give us manpower. What a jerk. Is the French Union still a thing? Uh, if we ever get control of Vizcaya, we can do the rest of the mission tree on this side. To get the claim on on uh, France, we just have to like break the alliance and then take over Gascony. We could we could do it. I think we're probably strong enough now. Now that Castile's loyal, and we missed out on our free union, 
Maybe we do that. We could just break the alliance with France. Well, actually, let's use France against England first. Let's go ahead and take care of that now. 